to share with you this, this uh, poem that Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he writes. He says, فَفِي الْقَلْبِ شَعَفٌ لَا يَلُمُّهُ إِلَّا الْإِقْبَالِ عَلَى اللَّهِ He says, in the heart, there are disorders that cannot be remedied except by turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Iqbal, facing and, and turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَفِيهِ وَحْشَةٌ لَا يَزِيلُهَا إِلَّا الْأُنسُ بِهِ بِهِ فِي خَلْوَتِهِ And there is a, a, a desolate feeling inside of your heart that cannot be removed except by having an intimate and sol and, and, and a relationship of solitude with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is this wahsha, this animalistic desire in your heart that can't be cured until you have privacy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَفِيهِ حُزْنٌ لَا يُذْهِبُهُ إِلَّا السُّرُورُ بِمَعْرِفَتِهِ وَصِدْقِ مُعَامَلَتِهِ And in it, yani in the heart, is a sadness which will not leave you except by happiness of knowing him and truthfulness in, uh, in your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That there's a sadness in your heart that will never leave until you're good with Allah. وَفِيهِ قَلَقٌ لَا يُسَكِّنُهُ إِلَّا الْإِجْتِمَاعَ عَلَيْهِ وَالْفِرَارْ مِنْهُ إِلَيْهِ Allah. I love that line. He says, in the heart, there is an anxiety that will never be made tranquil. It will never find its sakina, its tranquility, except by gathering for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fleeing to him from him. Fleeing from Allah to Allah. He, Imam uh, uh, Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah ta'ala, he gets this from the Qur'an. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes tawbah, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the repentance towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, to turn, you're running from Allah towards Allah. And it's a very surreal feeling when you begin to understand that reality. It's very interesting to understand that relationship. Anyways, I said I wouldn't explain we're running out of time. He continues, he says, And in the heart, there is a fire of regret which cannot be extinguished except by satisfaction with his commands his pro and, and, and his prohibition and decrees and embracing patience with that until the time he, yani you, meet him, meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's a fire in the heart that will not be extinguished except through the satisfaction with the commands of Allah, the prohibitions of Allah, and the decrees of Allah. Very good question, Sarah. I'm excited to answer that question. وَفِيهِ طَلَبٌ شَدِيدٌ لَا يَقِفُ دُونَ أَنْ يَكُونَ هُوَ وَحْدُهُ مَقْلُوبُ And in the heart is a strong desire that will not cease until he is the only one who is sought. And your heart will forever be chasing until you begin to chase Allah. And it'll find its peace there. There's another hadith related to that. The Prophet Muhammad he says, the human being will never understand satisfaction until they taste the dirt of their grave. The human being that is chasing the dunya. Because whenever you have something, you want a little bit more. So here Imam Al-Jawzi, he says, that in it is a strong desire that will never cease. You continuously chase more and more and more in your life until what you chase is Allah, until Allah is what you chase after. Then your heart will subside. Its desire for more will subside. 
لا يسدها إلا محبته والإنابة إليه ودوام ذكره وصدق الإخلاص له And in the heart is a void that cannot be filled except by his love, by turning to him, always remembering him, and being sincere with him. Azza wa Jal. وَلَوْ أُعْطِيَ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا لَمْ تَسُدَّ تِلْكَ الْفَاقَ مِنْهُ أَبَدًا And even if a person was given the entire world and everything in it, that void in your heart will never go away until and unless it is filled with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam al-Jawzi, Ibn al-Jawzi, he mentions this. That each and every single one of you in your heart, maybe you felt this before, maybe you haven't. That there is, there's a hole there. There's something missing there. And that hole can only be filled with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.